What's up? How are you guys today? The most unknown health and lifestyle factor by far is radiation. Reducing the amount of electric and magnetic fields from Wi-Fi, cell phones, various devices. And I've spoken about it a bit on my channel. I always mention, you know, Wi-Fi shielding, always wearing the clothing. Today we're going to take a look at some new products we have on the website as it's been a, been a little while uh, since I've talked about it. So we're going to look at the folding bed canopy. Uh, we do have the hanging canopies that you can you know, use a hook on the ceiling and drape over your bed. Uh, this is more expensive, but it's more convenient. You can travel with this. You can set it up without needing anything. Uh, additionally, the second new product we have is a bed sheet. So we're taking a look at the twin size today. We do have queen and king available as well. So this is an EMF flat bed sheet. Uh, these are pretty cheap on the website, I think between $60 and $80. This is just to shield underneath the bed. I don't use this because I sleep on the first floor and I don't really need it, but you know, if you're in an apartment, if you know there's stuff underneath you, if there's a lot of radiation, this is an easy way to just protect yourself underneath. So it comes in a, a nice zip bag like this. It is grounded, which isn't always necessary and you're really not better off grounding in a high EMF environment like a city area because all of the fields nearby will just get sucked into the ground and then go into your mat. So uh, ideally we do also have like a, a rod you can plug into the earth outside your house and then run it through a window or something. You could ground that way or just with the outlet wire that it comes with. So this is pretty self-explanatory. As I said, you guys just take this wire, snap it on here, and then run it to the bottom of an outlet, and you're good to go. As much as I have a lot of creative ideas, this one was not mine. Uh, one of my friends sent me a video of like a folding tent and suggested that I make an EMF version of the tent. So, it comes like this. It's maybe three feet long and about four inches wide. has a, a drawstring linen bag. Okay, so let's see how this goes. You know guys, I haven't opened up one of these yet, so I'm I'm just figuring it out, but it looks pretty simple. Okay. This is the, it's like a plastic pivot point right here. Seems pretty flexible. Okay. So there's like a, there's some plastic tubing on the inside that can kind of come apart, but you just, push it back in together. So this, okay, it folds up pretty easily and you can just kind of go in and then lay down. Now, as a twin size bed, you know, I'm not that big of a guy, I'm about average size. You know, I'm like 5'9", 160 pounds. So I can kind of, I can fit in here comfortably, you know. My feet are, are touching the wall over there and my head is kind of touching the wall over here and I could probably I could spread this out a little bit more but you know I would use this in like a tight space if I was traveling otherwise you know you might as well have just the um the queen or the king size just to give yourself a bit more space and be more comfortable but I mean I could sleep in this great you know I could turn over I could I could lay like this I, I could move around I could move around plenty I can move around plenty. I'm, pr I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty excited about it. And, and getting in and out is a lot easier than uh, going in and out of the other canopy. And, uh, you know, folding this thing back up, if you have to, you know, just kind of be careful. Don't force it. It is a hard plastic. It's available on wifishilling.com, guys. We have the hang down canopies. 
if you want something that is, again, more affordable and a whole bunch of other stuff on there. So let's take a look at the other things we have today. So first we have a router bag, which can also be used to just shield any electronic device. So it's really simple, just silver fabric, and it has a pocket here. You could put your phone in this, you could put an iPad in this, a maybe a laptop will fit in here too. But it's mainly a bag for the router, which we also have a cage for. So the cage is sturdier. It does have like a rubber piece you can run the wires through. And this will reduce the signal for the most part. It will not completely block it. So you can kind of still use the Wi-Fi if the router's on. And in my house though, I separately put the router like in the middle, far away from anything. And it's off guys. There is no Wi-Fi service in my household. This is why I don't have uh, the cage on it. I'll probably still put it in the cage and the bag now that I showed you guys the one I have here at home, just to be safe, make sure you know nothing crazy is coming out. But uh, if you test the level, since there's no Wi-Fi on this, it's not emitting anything. So the reason you would want this bag and guard is either if you don't have the access to turn it off, or if you want like a double safety measure, even if it is turned off. For 95% of cases, this stuff will adequately block everything to the point where you're in like 99.9% .9 reduced. If you're in a city, if you're in an apartment complex, if there's a lot of cell phones in very close proximity, and we're talking like 10 to 20 feet, then you might have to double layer things, which is why I usually wear two shirts because I'm in New York City. Um, my bed canopies, I double them up just to, to make sure. So, you know, in a very, very high Wi-Fi scenario like New York City, you're gonna have to double layer it. So the single layer will probably reduce 90 to 95%, but to get like 100% of the way there, you might have to double it, but most people do not have to. There's not a lot of air circulation in this thing. So you, you wanna set up a fan somewhere nearby and just like blow air into it. That's how I usually sleep. So I'm pretty excited about this. Uh, we do have some uh, curtains as well that are available. Uh, you know, you, we just need a curtain rod and then they hang down. Maybe I'll show you guys that in another video. Maybe if I stop getting harassed and can actually afford my own place one day, <laughs> I'll have to, the opportunity to show you guys some more stuff. But maybe we'll take a look at the curtains in, in one of the vlogs. Um, since I don't have the paint yet or any like shielding paint, you know, I'm kind of disappointed I wasn't really marketing the curtains because you kind of need both of them to completely shield the house. But these are great solutions for reducing your Wi-Fi and above everything else, guys, j just to sleep and recover in, that's why you want a canopy. And then the hanging canopy or the square canopy, which we have, uh, can also be used in a work area. So thank you guys for joining me. Hopefully you thought this was pretty cool. Wi-Fi shielding.com if you guys want to check out our products. Um, the, the cheapest, most affordable way to do it is to get a shirt, underwear, and our head net. I think the head net's $55 uh, or something, and that's a way you can shield your entire body. Obviously, it's not that comfortable sleeping with the head net on, but that's about it. Uh, my brain is fried today from being in the sun, so I've probably forgotten a few things. As always, thank you guys for joining me. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Therefore, guys, please check out frank where you can see all my businesses, including wifishielding.com. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for tomorrow's video.